<laughs> Newsflash, <laughs> it's never too late to level up your grooming game. Keep your bush tamed. Manscaped's new lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is every man's cheat code to look good, feel good, and turn the page on confidence this year. Now is your time to get a grip on your grooming with our exclusive offer. Introducing the MVP of 2024, Manscaped's fifth generation lawnmower, equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new file blade to go smooth like a dolphin wherever your heart desires. <laughs> she won't be pulling pubes out of her teeth. And for my men who want the full grooming experience, look no further than Manscaped Performance Package 5.0. And oh, <laughs> did we mention it's waterproof? Because a trim in the shower is the only way to start the day. In this grooming kit, you get the trusted lawnmower, Manscaped's ear and nose hair trimmer, and essential aftercare products with the Crop Soother Ball Aftershave Lotion and Crop Preserver Anti Shaving Ball Deodorant. I've been chafing. What's going on? I've got a red rash, so I'm going to use this. As a gesture for the new year, they even throw in two free gifts the Boxers 2.0. Nice. And the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag. Even even nicer. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code Green Room at manscaped.com. Embrace a new you and definitely embrace a new trimmer. Let's get in to the episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to Hot Water's Green Room Podcast with me, Tony Cannell. Hey, it's me, Jamie Hutchins, sir. Today we have a special guest, a legend on the circuit, Mr. Mark Moore, everyone. Yes. Hello. Hello, Mark. Here he is. Hi, Dan. to the show. And also we've got it, Danny's not in, unfortunately, he's had some bad news with his family, so we've, yeah, got, it, we've got a substitute in, Mr. Ben Robinson, a local comedian who's absolutely okay. It's <laughs> 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 why I'm over ben. here and not on the pod. Well, Hiya, Ben. Hi, Ben. Thank you for Hello. joining us, mate. Thank you for stepping in last minute. Are you okay? All good? Yeah, I'm sound, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you looked a bit nervous then. You don't put yeah. the cameras on, mate. I just don't want to lose my job. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. I just don't want to lose my job. Uh, yeah, so yeah, welcome to the, uh, the podcast, mate. Uh, Martin. Sorry, yeah, Martin. thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for uh, coming on, mate. I like uh, your wee uh, room. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Well, we, obviously, we've got a new studio soon, but we still haven't designed yet, but mm. we're on that. In the Lad. biggest comedy club in the world. Yes. Why yes. do we not design anything? Why can't we just do it? Why is why are the craze making us interior designers? Like, do we not do enough for them? I know exactly. That's what we just need to turn up, do our thing. I'm not home. Carol Smiley. Who's that? Changing rooms. I've never seen her. You'd you'll be Lawrence Lowell and Bowen. Who's that? So he comes in with a cravat and just goes, "Oh no, we'll have for shisha." <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. George, you're sick to watch. What? Changing rooms when they fuming at what they've done to the house. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've, never, I've never seen anyone imagine, went, like, oh, have you, hey, go, yeah, you go away for two weeks, just give us your keys, we'll do your house, come back, and they're like, the fuck's this? <laughs> they made it like Alice in Wonderland themed the bedroom, oh. and like, 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 how we meant to sleep. There's <laughs> 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 fucking rabbits everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Women crying. Like yes, uh, as I say, Mark, welcome to the, the podcast. I'm just going to have you on. Have you done many podcasts before? I have, oh, yeah, 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 I have. Yeah. And, um... I quite like it. Yeah, I, yeah. I like it better than um, I like it when it's comedians. Yeah, yeah, mm. true. In, yeah. in the past, the equivalent of this would be you do like local radio or something. Yeah. You know, you turn up in Norwich and you do local radio. That's or well before our time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, and really. they never give a fuck. Yeah, the people yeah. that were doing it were just they wanted to talk to you, talk. We're allowed to swear, aren't we? Yeah, of the course. The cunts that were doing it, we, they didn't they didn't care. They would just want you were just filling in a bit of time, exactly, and yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. all it was. But when you do it with comedians, it's usually a good laugh. I, 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 I had a theory about you when I first started. A theory? Yeah, because obviously on. you start out like young whippersnappers. Yeah, of course, stuff, yeah. And you compared uh, the stand, right? Uh, when I was like dead new starting out, and I had a theory that I don't think I've ever seen you blink. I've been right. for nine years. <laughs> 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 now I'm far annoyed now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I remember you like paid off, I smashed the fucking ass out of the stand. I don't know if you remember, you probably won't because you did thousands of gigs. Um, I smashed the ass out of the stand, like fucking, and you get, they're very strict on time at the stand, aren't mm. they? They're really strict. It's like, yeah. it's like you get stage time of like 9.37 and you're off at 9.57 on, oh, the, oh, on like the dot. On the dot. Yeah, They're yeah, not yeah, like, yeah. stay on till 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're mm. fucking straight like. And I did a trial and this woman had like a dead funny laugh. Joel like, mm -hmm. you know, when everyone was quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it just became, you get an applause breaks for real laughing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Sort of gig. And uh, I had to stay on to wrap up because I had a call back and I couldn't leave without it because my autism was coming around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
And I come off stage, sound tech went, nailed that. I went, oh, I overrun because of her, don't think it. Yeah. He went, no, no, I've put it in the feedback, like, overran, but it was the right thing to do because yeah, it was yeah. a distracting laugh and stuff. And I'm feeling the bollocks, like, I'm getting the weekends at the stand here. And I've just seen this fucking shadow of a beard come to me. And, and you stared right into my soul. And, went, <laughs> and, and all you said was, I don't know if you remember, you went, you stared right into my soul and you went, you did 12 minutes. <laughs> I don't remember, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's was, it, was it supposed to be 10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you really uh, keeping your eye outside you, yeah? So in, in the stand, yeah, yeah. where they're really on up, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah, sort of do, because you're your the job. Yeah, stage course, manager yeah, yeah. sort of thing. Do you know that story about there's the comedian goes to Vegas? It's, it's, it's back in the 50s. Yeah. Comedian goes to Vegas and his first night he's supposed to do 20 minutes. And he's going on and he does 22 minutes. And afterwards, the mafia boss that owns the casino comes up to him and goes, you were brilliant. I loved you. My wife loved you. All my, all my friends, we all loved you. But you did 22 minutes. And then he goes, and that extra two minutes, that's, they weren't in my casino they would have spent this much and he rhymes off how much money oh but you God. were really funny <laughs> <laughs> but you did 22 minutes and that guy legend for yeah. there on wherever he was in his show at 20 minutes he went thank you good night he never like, overran again by the mafia boss. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's like yeah mate yeah, fucking yeah. Bonnie and Reggie Cray in the yeah, green room fucking you've cost us two minutes of bar yeah. take yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what I came off here doing the first weekend yeah. fucking chief Reggie Craig, you know, come see see the fucking yeah, you know, you know what it's like. Fucking, I need to watch first weekend. I'll be fucking there. I'll yeah, second yeah. row, not laughing one bit. <laughs> come backstage and goes, nice twenty two lad. Did he? Nice twenty two. <laughs> so you, this is a this is a reoccurring thing. Jamie, I always you run, run, I always hey, overrun. Yeah. Yeah. I always yeah. I always run under me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like fucking get next time. You know, but when it, off. you know when it's on a piece of paper bot and it says this happens at these yeah, times yeah. and it's never going to happen at no, these times. And it's all something. Comedy club sometimes at least, you know, with yeah, yeah. and stuff and get a last so, bit of people in. So a gig one time, I was at a gig and it said on their thing, I was a compare. So second interval starts at such and such. So they start playing the music and I'm in the wee back room and the the girl that was running the the desk and the show goes. Right, we're ready to go now, go back up. And I come out and please walk back to the stage. Here's Martin Moore. And I walk on and there's her, nobody in the room. They're all out on smoke break and there was a, the bar was upstairs. Yeah, yeah. And she just started because it was the right time. And you go, no, you need to at least let the audience come back. Yeah. I was here, so I was here. So I think what was, what's the uh, lad's name? Rick? See the big lad who looks like me with the fringe? Uh, Young kid. Whoa. Ollie. Ollie. Ollie, yeah. Well done, uh -oh. mate. You had one job. <laughs> That's uh -oh. not no, Freddie no, Mercury. Just, yeah. <laughs> just, just poke it in the wee hole there. Oh, go on, Tony. Go on, Tony. Times you've said go that. Go on, Tony. Get it in the wee hole. Spit on it. Oh, it's in. The <laughs> listeners are still, still, still on. <laughs> yeah, can I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, eh? Hey, hey. hey. Still yeah, on the who's, the, who's, the, who's the lad? Young kid, you know his name? Ollie. Ollie's Ollie. Ollie. On the back. Yeah, it's Ollie. Yeah, it's Ollie. Yeah. Right, it was here on Saturday, and uh, it was run over. It was it was the late start, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the obviously up here on the Saturday, Saturday seven, yeah. So. um the, the, the runners are getting the drinks and that from the bar for, and then shouting the order. So I'm waiting out there and it's like five, it's, murder, it's like it? 10 minutes over and then the open acts on, I'm waiting and I'm just like, you know, you just want to get on and it's run over, run over. And then, uh, and then thingy, uh, uh, Rain says, uh, just one more drink and this lad comes up and this, this oh. young kid and he's got the drinks and he comes in and I'm thinking, yes, it's the final one I can get on now, you know, because he's just wanting to get on yeah, stage, yeah, I, you know, yeah. fucking have a go. This is 10 minutes over, by the way, like I'm meant to start. And then he comes out and he just goes to rain. I, f I forgot the snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking burst out laughing. He goes out. She, rain made those two to bed. All right, Ben, we're going to have to wait because Ollie forgot the snacks. Yeah. I was thinking, is that code weird or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy comes up with Pringles, going, yeah. I've got the snacks. Yeah, but I'd cry giving rain bad news, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would <laughs> take shit. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you know, they say about the, the, in comedy, the worst feeling when you die on your arse. Yeah. I don't think it is. I don't think it is the worst I don't feeling. I think I do. The, for me, <laughs> the, worst, yeah. the worst feeling is when you're doing a double up, so you've got two gigs. Yeah. And you haven't told the second gig because you know they wouldn't have let you do the yeah, first gig, yeah, yeah. and the first gig is overrunning over you, before you get on. Yeah, so yeah. you're trying to go on, man. You're looking, you're going right. I'm going to have to drive 120 yeah, to get to this yeah. place. <laughs> That's I, the worst. And then uh, the first club of pop picture, and you might more opening the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know that so now, at least now, people understand double ops. 
It used to be that people were really getting, you know, Alexander's and Chester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pauline, who used to run that, yeah. hated people doubling up. So I would literally be at, at a gig. Well, then probably I, here, I, I believe Liverpool. That, that's fine, but then pay a bit more for exclusive. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think. But I would, yeah, I would, fees up I would be at, at, at a start, gig in Liverpool up, on the phone tour and I would go, I'm parked outside your place now. I'm just listening to something on the radio. I'll be in in a minute. And I'd be here about to do a gig somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was always a late start, Alexander's as well. So what's the problem? Say again, Alexander's was I think you, used to be a late start, didn't it? Oh, I so what they did was they want what Pauline's thing was. So it was no compare. Started at about nine o'clock. Oh, the opening act, the headliner was supposed to bring on the first act. Yeah. <laughs> then the first act, the who was really often an open spot doing their first twenty, yeah, right. they would do theirs. Then be an interval. Then the first act bring on the middle act. Then the middle act to do it. Then the last act, the, the middle act to bring on the headliner, you had to do 40 minutes, and she liked it best if it was after midnight at that, that, at that point because it, she, she did worked out that model of the thing was to keep people in their bar drinking. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. go on at midnight, after midnight, to do 40 minutes. Fucked. No, no comp, no re, no, because nobody was wasting material. Yeah, People yeah. that were going home were just going, here's your next act. And yeah, yeah. but it's like, um, to do that, and that's similar to that, that sort of model is like having a fucking acoustic guitar in it. All the Yanks do that as well, that model. Yeah, There's not many that, MCs, is there? Nah, it's just on and on. Yeah. No breaks. Look at me, I've just got back into fucking comedy and just cut all the MCs out of that. <laughs> but, <laughs> I like it when it's, I like that model, but that they do in America where the, where there's an act that's like a host act, yeah, 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 and yeah. you do you go up and you do your bat, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then and then you bring on because they've always got table service, yeah, and then yeah. you bring on oh, here's your man off the telly, and the big name comes on and does yeah, whatever that, they do. That's, that's yeah, how yeah, the yeah. fees all uh, predominantly the fees all towards the headliner, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. get like a yeah. door split and stuff. Because the big comics, the big American comics who do test with sale out before tour shows yeah. and stuff, they're, they're, they're always saying like they, they look after them, like the acts, the open yeah, acts, because yeah. they don't get much money, do they? Yeah, you just get Some of them don't get some acts, yeah, don't, don't some get places any, don't do get any yeah. money at all, yeah. So how, how long have you been going for, man? 40 years. 40 years? Oh. Yeah. Maybe, maybe slightly more, because I got my equity card, it'll be 40 years in, oh, it's March now, March, isn't that? Yeah, so yeah, it's 40 yeah, years yeah. now, it was March, and um, I'm, you had to have done a couple of gigs, you had to done... I think it was half a dozen gigs or 10 gigs, paid gigs to get your card yeah, yeah. in them days. So yeah, 40 years. 40 years, nice. Was you clean shaven? Hey, yeah, it was, yeah. So <laughs> I, initially, initially I was... This is what the circuit um, does to yeah, you. Initially <laughs> I was, um, I had long I'm hair. I would just come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had long, long ginger hair and no beard. And then I grew a beard in 1995. And at that point, I was still working as a circus act. I was doing stand up, but I was still I was a circus act. Oh, was you? And I um, in, in my little company that I had, there were three jugglers. One of them was me. <laughs> and people, I come back from holiday, and I just hadn't shaved, and I just did one of them. What do you call them? We goatee things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did one of them for a sort of a joke, like just as a like yeah. you know when you go down to pub for a laugh with your yeah. mates. Yeah, I stuff. just did it as a joke thing. And but I did it at a gig, and then afterwards they said, "Oh, we want to book the juggler. Which one did you have? Oh, it was a fellow with a beard." And then this oh, is so the result. I just thought, "Fuck it, I'll yeah, just yeah. keep a beard." What now. did you do with the circus? So I still just do juggling. juggling. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, nice. still do it. Yeah, so juggling knives and stuff. Yeah, knife throwing. The act that I've got, the man that we've got two, we've got a, like a, a family show, which is like a juggling yeah, show, yeah, yeah. and then we've got a full-on adult show, like a danger show, where we're juggling with sharp shit and yeah, yeah. big scat balancing on scaffoldings and stuff. And yeah, right, and it, if it's ever gone wrong, because the only reason people go to the circus, in my opinion, is to see some cunt get stabbed. Yeah, so <laughs> in this just, one, just walked down Bootle two two, Ed, two Edinburghs ago. <laughs> it worked, I remember in the circus. <laughs> 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 Two Edinburghs ago, we yeah. were in the counting house of the ballroom at the Edinburgh Fringe. It's me, it's a guy called Logie. Show's called Dirty Tattooed Circus Bastards. And it's like a full on. <laughs> That's what it says on the So yeah. we do one of these things. We come in at the start, we do all this juggling to a Led Zeppelin song. It's all like what you would see at Cirque du Soleil or something. It's all this flashy juggling. And then we go, bollocks. That's, that's not what we do. That's what jugglers do. Any, anyone could do that. And we, we go, we've been to B&Q and we've just <laughs> literally got a big box of stuff, tools. And we juggle with the audience, get to pick what tools it is. And it's all this sharp stuff. Like we've got hedge clippers that we've deliberately loosened. So when we're juggling, they open. Oh. So it's genuinely fucking full yeah. on. And what we were doing, if we do long runs of that, 
we get people together, bring shit. We say on social media, bring something and we'll juggle and people bring stuff. Uh, but this, but this genuinely happened. We were doing the ballroom the of the kind of house. <laughs> Jingle my baby! So my mother's literally, ashes. <laughs> so literally doing a street show in yeah. the 1980s, somebody gave me a baby to juggle. <laughs> No exaggeration, but yeah, Edinburgh. We're in there. We're in this ball. We're in this ballroom place. Yeah. Chandeliers and one of them proper shiny. Is it called parquet? Them floors. That's really posh floor. Like a real so when tiles. We, no, like wooden, wooden floor. That's all like it's all being buffed. Like beautiful. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah, it's, yeah. so it's, 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 it's St. George's Hall. Yeah. People have yeah, their yeah, weddings yeah, yeah. and stuff yeah, in this room. Yeah, St. George's Hall. Yeah. And so we. We do the juggling with all the stuff and Logie ends up doing the last bat. So he juggles the stuff and he gives it to me and he's introduced in the next section. And to keep it safe, I was putting it on the floor under a table. And as I'm putting it down, one of the things is the, the blade of a buzz saw with a handle put on it. And I'm putting them on the floor, having successfully juggled the stuff without hurting myself. And I'm putting it down so carefully, I cut my finger and I went, I went, Logan, oh, cut myself, got to go ahead. But I've got a radio mic on, so they can hear me. So I go down and I go, have you got a fucking, has anyone got a fucking first aid cat? I've cut my fucking finger. <laughs> and Logie said he just stood on stage laughing, and letting did. the audience hear me going, I've cut my fucking finger. Uh, I did uh, like a uni film project thing to someone in uni. Yeah. Right, they're doing it for their like, projects and yeah. that. And you get mic'd up and everything, do like a little mic pack. I went, oh yeah, just in between takes, I'll just just stick to the loo. Get the mic on a fucking violent diarrhea, mate. Came out, poor sound guy, just went white as a sheet. <laughs> so he could, he could he picked up you having a shit? Yeah. Oh, only only in his headphones. Oh, but he's just like that. Yeah, but I'm grunting and that, going, oh yeah. Ask him for me, mum, in that. An easy mum. So in the, in the 1980s, I had one of them head. They were they were in Britney Spears. They were only first Britney affordable. Spears. Them there, we used to call them Madonnas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Age, oh, age yeah. yeah, there we go. Eh? One of my favourite acts. They'd of all only time, Madonna. they'd only become a vi- affordable to acts. They were so dear before, and so I'd got one of these. And I was doing a gig. It was a hyena in New in Newcastle Castle, upon yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing the gig, and suddenly you hear a taxi company coming through. So I I cover the thing over like that. And I go into the regular mic, oh, if if we can hear them, they can hear me. And then I sort of went, right, you've got 15 minutes to get out, something like that. There's a bomb in your place. You have 15 minutes to get out. In your accent <laughs> Think, as well. Thinking, <laughs> it, thinking it was a joke. And, and when I, when we finished the gig, they um, the people running the gig went, Martin, I'm really sorry. You're going to have to come and talk to these policemen. And the police had been called. And they stood, and I just went, oh, it was me making a joke with a thing. And they went, oh, nice one, mate. And they just, that was oh, that yeah, over. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a joke, I swear. <laughs> yeah. Check your cars. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Adams' tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's chaos. That was oh, yeah. Brendan Reese wears them now, don't he? The little earpiece. Oh, does he, yeah? yeah oh, yeah, it's, it's a bit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Madonna. Callum would wear one of them. Callum more. would definitely wear one of them. Yeah, Do you know what's weird, but if I'm because I wear them all the time, this one, the headset thing, when I'm doing the juggling shows. But occasionally, I've turned up to do stand-up gigs where you have a mic. Yeah. I've turned up to stand-up gigs and they've, they've wanted us to use these. And even though I use it, probably like 40% of my gigs yeah. are probably this thing. Uh, when I'm doing stand-up, you don't yeah, know what you to do with your hands. You, yeah, you, you just, do, yeah, yeah. It's like you've yeah. got a spare hand yeah, suddenly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Stuff, yeah. That. that'd be mad. That you'd be like that. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I'd have to do okay, it inside yeah. a fucking brush or something. Your pints sinking into a bottle. <laughs> so, <laughs> you on the roof? <laughs> <laughs> so, so forty years then, Martin. You must have seen. Um, you must have seen the game change then, haven't you? Surely. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's it's definitely changed, yeah. and I think for the better. For better yeah. To be honest, I think now. Bloody fees haven't. <laughs> yeah, the fees haven't. I tell you that. That's right. So that there, honest that that gig, that hyena gig. Yeah. So it was Anvil Springsteen. Do you remember Anvil Springsteen? He's a scouser that yeah. lived in Newcastle all the time. So it was Davy Jones oh, yeah. and oh, yeah, Anvil Davey Springsteen Jones, yeah. and Paul Snedden, Vladimir McTavish. No, no. So these three boys, David Johns, all David of them, Johns, yeah, yeah. That he's him. He's an actor now, and he, yeah, yeah, uh, Daniel yeah, Blake. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. they set up the comedy club in uh, Newcastle, and that was I don't know in the night in the 90, 97 or something like yeah. maybe earlier than that, and it paid two hundred quid. And now all these years later, comedy clubs are paying two hundred quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of one fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, it's mad as well because uh, everything that happens in like this, this kind of industry and especially like what's going on the government wise comedy clubs are, have never been more more busy than I think oh so most but, most theatres so we did a tour last year I understand year. the theatres are struggling like yeah. I know that but I mean the comedy clubs but no, but think, most, most theatres that we went to on the tour yeah. with the circus stuff they when I would just you'd be chatting to them and yeah, the, yeah. The, you know when they come to say welcome to our gig and yeah, stuff yeah. like that and I'm going what, what's been doing well and it was things like comedy, comedy circus yeah. and stand up and yeah, stand ups yeah. are keeping those it's, people in really, business because it's, it's obviously with what's going on in, in the country wise and there's fucking, there's not much to be fucking be happy about. I think mm. that's why people go on. It's cheap, it's cheaper nights out than going to nightclubs or pubs all day. And yeah, yeah, it's a good night. It's out, a good right? night out as well. Yeah, I think yeah. people need cheering up. And well, it's it's got it. what's going on. a comedy club. So I think, I think has on. really got it covered on that because. It's a night out where if you want a pint, you yeah. can have a pint. Yeah, yeah. And if you fancy, if the Co- mood takes you, you can have a session. Yeah, yeah. yeah and too, it's that yeah. thing in that. Whereas if you go to um, if you go to a pub and you have a pint, that's how long does it last? No. Yeah, yeah, Half yeah. an hour or something, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but I, it's good if you're in like a really loveless marriage, which a lot of people are, because the price of divorce lawyers, you can go and sit in silence in two hours and still it? portray it's a night out for you and your wife. Yeah. Isn't it? That's true. I've seen, I've seen yeah. that happen in all these. Listen, a lot of yeah, if, you, if you're not in, if you're not in love with your wife, none of you are really. Um, well, even if you are, because you can, t- you can tell with like folded arms, all you've been together twenty five years. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> but do you know that? Do you know that thing in it that when you're looking, because we spend so much time looking at them faces like yeah, that, yeah. you can't help but develop some sort of psychology thing going on. And you can tell who's been together for a long time. Yeah, you yeah. can. You yeah, totally you can. can. And not even that thing of there's, you know, the joke thing of they're sitting far apart. Yeah. Even yeah. if they're not, you can still just tell them, yeah, can't you? Oh, yeah. Do you ever have one Mark, where you were you know, obviously like you smashing a gig and then what just one person like that, just like, oh, and then, but then you you just do your gig to him. I and see. Then you, but then you lose your audience because you just yeah. Cause you, it's that it's that it's that. It don't matter. You got ninety nine. You want the uh, one. Yeah, but it's, it's that's being greedy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm winning. So I, to- I totally, I, I, I've I, done it loads. I, I never do that. Them off. I just went. I want you. No. <laughs> you know do you know what, what? I totally never do that. No, if I see that one, though. I just leave them alone because I just always think you don't know what's happened to that person. Yeah. And I can, I can tell you, it happened in Liverpool where my, where I learned that lesson. So yeah. I done. It's called a Bold Street. There's yeah. a bar there on Bold Street. It used to have raw hide in it, and it's oh. like a oh, round, I, I remember that, like yeah. a round shaped bar. Yeah, I'm was on it, stage. Was it a bar bar? I don't know what it's called. It was circular, but one that. I remember raw hide. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it, anyway, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, and the show's going great. I e- everything's either. going good. Did you? Yeah, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was um the same people that have the Royal Court. Kevin. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was, yeah. And it, was, I'm sure it, it used to be in the every man. Used to be in the every man. Was in the every man theatre. Terry a- Titter was the compare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we. Anyway, long story short, I'm doing the show exactly what you said. One woman doesn't fucking like it. Like yeah. she, and you can't help but keep looking at yeah, that yeah. one woman. And then that woman started crying. <laughs> and then I thought, what the fuck? Have <laughs> I fuck said? Yeah. Like literally, what have I said? Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not. A controversial comedian, oh, but I do yeah. sometimes say things that yeah, yeah, yeah. some people don't. Flirt, tickle, some people, yeah, yeah, yeah something that people would maybe yeah, be offended at. I'm not meaning that offensive. Anyway, it turned out her husband had died, and she, he was from Northern Ireland. Oh. And I'd literally thinking this woman's miserable as fuck. I wasn't speaking to her, but I just said something, and it just yeah. So I you thought just never she, know. She might have just watched Lord of the Rings and Gandalf just died. <laughs> maybe. Before that, so, do you ever get that? Do you get on stage, Gandalf? Yeah, Mate, or, or you for see fuck's sake. Yeah. Z- yeah. So you, you, phase, you, you know when people do this thing where they where they shout something at you in the street, or they <laughs> shout something, <laughs> get and the they street, think get beat. <laughs> they think they're the first person yeah, that ever it, said that. Yeah. Yeah. So. 90s having a long beard, where they weren't as fashionable to yeah, be fair, yeah, but yeah. ZZ Top, all the time. <laughs> then Lord of the Rings came out. Every day, yeah, yeah, every day, yeah, some yeah, fucker yeah. going, oh, Gandalf, <laughs> every day. Yeah. And then now that it's gone greyer, especially if it's in the wonder, it's, oh, here's Santa. Yeah, oh, yeah, do you know what's but bad? It's just that thing, G- you know, when G- you look G- at G- their G- week. Jamie gets Michael Knoll. <laughs> right. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what I got once, yeah. I was like 17, was like you know, 18, like fucking one of the first nights out in town. Yeah. Me and my mate walking down the street and I was like, yeah, but the fucking boy's going to pull tonight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, fucking yeah. half a bottle of my dad's dew pot and that. <laughs> Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, fucking yeah. cowboy shoes on, Joe, thinking you need shoes to get in bar, bar yeah, yeah. Walking down the street thinking, nah, we're going to pull here. And he was, how should we take him back to? And then this van just came down and went, oi, Kevin and Perry, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they, said, they said, fuck off all. No. <laughs> and, then, 
let me just let me sit there in the street and nah. Why are you coming We look like two. I was outside the night, said he got Doug as well. Doug's mine. I oh, invented oh, Doug. Oh, Doug. You. <laughs> I invented Doug. What Doug? Joe Doug the cartoon. Doug the cartoon. No. It was like a, oh. it was like a, it was like a uh, pass me a phone. And he's, this is <laughs> you are. I've never met anyone who looks more like a drawing than you, lad. Don't you look oh, too? Don't you look two D? Maybe. Show me this. Show me Doug. <laughs> show us Doug. <laughs> okay, I thought he was coming over to spark me. That's out, mine. Man. Yeah. Wait. Pass me a phone. Lad. Oh. I meant told you. I know. Yeah. I think I was there this year. Watch how much this guy looks like Doug now, yeah. <laughs> Danny, chop Ben's full, uh, headshot in here. Headshot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, can you put pictures into the... Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to have that, though. I take... I, hang on. Yeah, he does, actually. Too <laughs> <laughs> deep. What is that? Where does, where does that... Who is that? That's, we so, think? that's off cartoon. He's really cartoon. Maybe you Nickelodeon, right. Right. Nickelodeon, I think. Yeah, no, nah, it's... Doug, oh, Douglas Yancey I, funny. I can't look at cartoons. Whatever way my ADHD works, because yeah. the show that I think is the funniest show on the telly, or when it, The Simpsons, yeah, oh, yeah. Fun, reliably funny, and I used to have to sit and watch it like <laughs> that. There, I just can't watch. See if it's just drawn. It does me fucking head. Does yeah. I don't know. Something. Sense you wonder. My wiring or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever way I'm wired up. You're because you're, you're a juggler and don't blink. Yeah. Do you think you could kill a bear <laughs> round with a pen? Kill a bear. I think you could bang an animal out of me. So you probably... <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like you am, just, I, am I t- going to take this too seriously now? No, no. Do you know what you think you would? How would you get past its claws? I th- that's what I mean. Because you were juggling in that. Do you know what mm. I mean? If you just bamboozle it and then fuck, bang, by in the neck. Yeah, I don't know if they're impressed Byron by juggling. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if a bear would be impressed by juggling. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it'd be it. arse. You know, nice lad, I'm not going to ask the you know. I just don't just want to eat you. <laughs> I think you could beat animals up me. Yeah, I wouldn't, but... Can you capture animals in the wild and stuff? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you would, yeah, wouldn't maybe. you? You'd skin a fucking... Has it gone wrong with the juggling? Like, have you, have you ate yourself bad or... Sort of yeah, 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 loads of times. Fuck it. Oh, it's so, obviously probability. And it's so me and, me and Logie, that's yeah. in the, that I do the show yeah, with, yeah. we were just sitting talking uh, um, with comedians, some of my mates, just sitting talking, and I... I've only got four fingers that work. I've got only f- got four funchy fingers, and we and there and I went, oh, you know, for years of doing stuff, and I've broke every finger and every thumb on both hands, and Logie has broke every finger and thumb and his left hand everything twice. Fuck so up. it is that. Yeah, but yeah. It's the same with some bloke working on a building site yeah, to yeah. hurt himself. And if you do physical stuff, you're gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're gonna get damaged. Stop them. Well, they're not juggling hands, are they? No, uh, they're not. Are they soft? Oh, look, feel them. Shot them. See, I'm surprised. I'd have thought you'd have wanked calluses onto there oh, by now, mate. That's velvet, mate. Mine are rough. <laughs> I've got rough hands. No, I ain't rough. Yeah, I mean. Shut up, lad. Yeah. Behave. Mine Nothing feel ready. his hands. Let me feel. Let's all feel each other. Yeah, they're not rough, mate. No, they're not rough. They're not rough. I'm you a know a when you meet, I'm do you ever see? A fight anyway. Do you ever see when you get to see like yeah. builders or somebody or that, and they can put cigarettes out because their calluses are so oh hard on yeah, their hands I'm from me. years? Yeah. Yeah. You've got quite big hands, but I've got yeah, I've got big everything. Sure, sure. Yeah, mine are quite yeah, mine are, mine are stumpy. Yeah. I got you. You got walls, walls, sausage fingers. Yeah, these two. Look at my scars. <laughs> Fucking hell, yeah. Jesus. Oh, have you ever been to a palm reader and go, look, I love, I think I'm fucked here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she <laughs> went, <laughs> you've had it, you, lad. <laughs> Stop dropping things. So, you've obviously travelled this world, I mean, the stand-up, haven't you? Obviously, yeah, yeah. I haven't done it, Jamie. You've, you've dabbled, haven't you, a little bit, but no, not an international mega, have you? No. Did the whole to Rotterdam ferry, that was shy. <laughs> you've obviously been Australian and stuff like that. Yeah, like so that, I, think, I, I think I'm on... So lockdown fucked me over a little bit. Yeah. And I haven't really been travelling so much since then. I've been back to Australia since then. Yeah. But I was on, me and a couple of mates were seeing who could do the most professional, the paid gigs yeah. in the most countries. And I think I was leading on with my mates yeah. on 53. Oh, shit. So 53 countries. But I think Nick Wolte, English comedian, I think he's on 82. Jesus. So as far as we know, that's the most. Is he, he he's doing 15 minutes in Andorra. Oh, he did a lot of his in he did a lot of his in the eighties and nineties as well I before bet, the bet internet. You, I bet you got to cancel Cardiff now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be bomb, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, but you know what's too. funny? We're we're lucky because we um because English English spoken um comedy is popular all over the world. Yeah, yeah. And when you get to like Asia and stuff, 
it's American style, like black American style yeah. comedy. So I, I did a tour in Vietnam and Cambodia. And in Cambodia, my, I had a 20 year old support act called Valtina. He was just this young guy. And in Cambodia, they're very respectful to older men and they call you uncle. And they would literally be going, do you want a drink, uncle? They're, kind of, <laughs> they're, they're really, really respectful. It's their culture. And he was very softly spoken until the first night that he opened for me and he walked out, got like this, yo, motherfuckers! <laughs> and he was just like a black American, like, yo, motherfuckers! <laughs> was, he was, was he white? Was he white? Well, uh, Cambodian. Cambodian. Oh. So, uh, so Southeast Asian but looking. But he was going on like Chris Rock. That's yeah, funny, exactly man. like That's Chris Rock. Sick, but, you know. And he was so quiet and nice and then it was just this. <laughs> Also, he's a local lad. That's fucking the Cambodian circuit. Cambodian circuit. How'd, you even, a, how'd you even get booked for that? How'd you even get into that? So what it used to be was in the 80s and 90s, it was always expats. So you go to Hong Kong, bankers and people that worked in the shipping business. Yeah, yeah. And then gradually over the years, what happened was people got more interested in it and people were watching it on TV and the people that were teaching English started showing people stand up because yeah, yeah. it's conversational isn't it mm. ah, so right, like yeah, if we yeah, were yeah. going france now yeah. we probably don't want to speak grammatically correct french we want to speak conversational french wouldn't we yeah, so yeah, so yeah. stand up became popular and then they started and i've seen this happen it's in, maybe in the since the 2000s probably the last 20 years anyway it changed from it was only us going there. We were the only stand-up. You had to bring us there to do it. <coughs> to now they've got their own scenes. And the local guys there, some of them, they'd maybe be middle spots here. They're selling out stadiums. Yeah, we had an yeah, Estonian yeah. on, didn't we? Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. first Estonian. And he was probably yeah. he was famous. So he like he was fucking like... Yeah. Yeah. Stuff over there. The maddest one I'd done. The maddest one I'd done. So the Magners used to run a comedy festival in Asia. And then they contacted me, the guy that ran at Matt contacts me separately and says, we're going to try and do a regular tour. Will you be our guinea pig to see <laughs> if it works? And I go, yeah. yeah so yeah. I go, I do Hong Kong, Singapore, Thailand, China, and then I go to Japan and Mongolia. And I thought, what? Mongolia. What the fuck's that? I got Erlen Bata. <laughs> That comedy club in Mongolia, if we put it in you'd anywhere... Smash it there, you know. yeah. oh, you'd smash it. <laughs> <laughs> if you put that comedy club any city in the UK, it's the best comedy club. It's the best comedy club I've ever been anywhere. Seven nights a week, five nights in Mongolia, and two nights a week in English. The best comedy club you've ever seen, and it's in Erlen Batar. What's was, the venue like? What's perfect. It, it's, uh, it was 200. Oh, perfect. And I did a solo show there, I did it, and it was sold out. Uh, everything sold out. And 40, about 40 people were like expat, Aussies, English, maybe an Irish person. The rest of them are all Mongolian, nearly all women. Yeah. Everyone got everything. There was no reference That's that I had that. to change. That's that. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's a good thing for language, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. It's like the yeah. French listens. No, but I'd imagine me going over there, lads. <laughs> <laughs> so the cat, it was on the roof. <laughs> Shut up, lads. <laughs> they won't get it. <laughs> they won't get it. That Tony died in Belfast. All right. With a cat, cat fell off of the roof joke. <laughs> right. <laughs> mate, I went. Where were you? We're doing, doing a podcast well, live. Right. And they were all Jamie fucking fans, mate. Right, right. So they didn't want to see me. I was just a fucking bully, mate. <laughs> So I just went out and died and got Jamie on after five minutes. <laughs> so funny. Where was this again? The, the limelight. Oh yeah, limelight, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was a live podcast show, and it just, it just, we just didn't know what we were doing. But yeah, we no, I didn't know. What How was many doing. was that? How many did you get for the live? Hundred and twenty. That's yeah. fun, but isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. It was, it was Listen, a good, it, no, don't get me wrong. Like I mean, it was that's fun. Not a joke. It was funny. It, like there was different sections, but we went on. So I do stand up the first section. And it's a black podcast, and we shouldn't have. So it was just like there's loads of things that you've oh, we've changed so them. Funny, but though, man. Yeah, it was our like second ever live show. So people were. I think that people did used to do at the start that I, that I got um, employed to do was they were going to do this yeah. live, but then you had to stand there first and do. So I, I wouldn't be a guest. It would be there were names that were too big for me to be on with. Yeah. But they would be. I would do stand up. So you do stand up, 
and then they have a piss break, and then it's just it's wrong, it's isn't show, it? Yeah, yeah. It's just Neither of them things is the same thing. It's no, no. Yeah. We've we've got a good format now because we do our live show. We do a live show every week with the audience. Yeah, that's and cool. We have, we have like change some, the vibe as well, don't we? Yeah, 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 just yeah. get people in and then we just do yeah. questions. So we, yeah, we have like we have our own little format now, but at the time we were still quite new. We obviously we were fucking two two people who are prepared. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we got thrown into the deep end of Belfast, and I had to take a, a death. There you go. And so. then the second section, I was just went, lad. I think all we can do now, just for the quality of the show, just get is just get pissed and sniff some fucking coffee. So not, we just had to get fucking not less coffee, you know. Mm. The, we the we just Colombian coffee. We just had to get twisted. Yeah, yeah. But and did they go for that? Yeah, but Belfast such a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. party oh, town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuned in, yeah. It was great. That's all they want to see. You you you're often you say to be off camera you don't drink do you anymore. So what was it? No, no. Not since 1997. Yeah. I tell you exactly what happened. I was um You weren't driving Diana was you? Two years. How do you what age were you in 1997? Six. Six. So that that fringe, we came home on the Monday night and she had died. And it was text in those days. Every comedian was going, "This, if only this had happened two days ago, oh, we'd have had it in our shows." Because yeah, yeah. the fringe was over when she. Everyone says you remember the day where you was or something when Dad died. Like I just remember, like a few weeks after, and, and um, I remember VH1 on the telly. I remember like Elton John doing Candle in the Wind. Do you know? Oh, for for me, him, yeah, it was killed that, made that. He's fucking, He made the fucking money he off did it. The funeral, there was a, I thought. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sick, that. It was an, originally about Marilyn Monroe, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah. Ch- changed all the lyrics for Diana. Like. Yeah. That was a brilliant time for comedy, but <laughs> because at the start, because it's such a big thing, like it was bigger than anything else that had happened. Nobody yeah. died and had that kind of reaction yeah, before. Yeah. So nobody, it was new, new ground for everybody. And I, do you know Boothby Graffo? No, no, no. Name. So he's an English comedian. Yeah. He's brilliant. And he uh, he and I were talking about, we're going, are you going to do Diana jokes? And I was going, yeah, I'm definitely doing Diana jokes. <laughs> and everyone was doing them separately, like on, on texting each yeah, other. Yeah, them. Yeah. Nobody would do them in their shows. And literally, What's big rooms of people were booing me for my Diana jokes. And I loved that because it was such energy. Yeah. And I had, I, had some good, I had some good Diana jokes and nobody was doing them in front of people. And I was, I was going, me and Boothby said, when are we going to stop? And I went, the day she's in the ground, as soon as she's in the ground, yeah. it's over because everybody else will start doing the Diana yeah, jokes. Yeah, and it's yeah. it. And, and they were rubbish then because it had passed, the moment had passed. But yeah. that thing so, of people booing you when you know you're legitimately, you've got a subject that you can cover. Yeah. Fucking so that's, a, that's a good point where it's like, there's a, there's a limit on when it ends. How many open slots you still see doing Madeline McCann jokes and that? Yeah, that's true. I mean? yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. fuck me, like, to be fair, though, she's never been confirmed in the ground. You know the... So, yeah, so she's still open and there's no... Yeah, yeah. She's still in the scene. Might come round again. You yeah. know the thing when Michael Jackson... Out? When Michael Jackson could died... You. you could be Marlon McGann. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your eyes. Let me see your eyes. <laughs> you know when Michael Jackson died, but it, it fucking oh, it he died changed. In, he died in June. That was good for the fucking free yeah, shows. But, but <laughs> do, you know, do you know what happened was? I was doing a pilot... For a, in Dublin, I was doing the stand in Glasgow, and they f- I flew to Dublin, and he died, and I didn't have a reception on my mobile because I didn't, you know, it used to charge you Roman yeah, if you yeah, went yeah. to South Ireland, and so I I was writing jokes, I was writing jokes all day. The thing I was doing wasn't a was a kids thing, so I did a pilot for a kids thing. Then I get back to the airport, I'm going to the stand, and I've got pages of Michael Jackson jokes to do that night. I land at Glasgow Airport, and my phone starts fucking ping, 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 ping. And every Michael joke, Jackson joke I thought of, one of my mates was texting me. And you want, it's just a, gone. Was you doing a kid's show, a kid show as well? I, that night, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she said, you're all safe now. <laughs> it's, <old. laughs> it's never pretty <laughs> never proven I love Michael Jackson I love Michael Jackson well it wasn't proven it was proven was it wasn't, wasn't it, it? Oh, 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 I don't know oh. <laughs> controversial <laughs> still yeah R. Kelly he didn't, he's a bad man right he's in prison for it right. is he yeah he was pissing on faces him wasn't he yeah it's only so far toot toot beep beep can get you off <laughs> <laughs> Ben's writing at that <laughs> I know you're I'll give you some jokes Ben yeah 
I'll jack you to the first. He's kicking and screaming, mate. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. That's your limit, though. Are you, are you a, a stand-up fan? I'm not a miracle. I do a bit. I, I don't don't, don't, well, say, don't, don't do that. Don't say what? you hate me because, we're, because we're, we've got royalty on me. Tell him you're an inspiring young comedian and he's fantastic, mate. Right. I've been right, with Wimbledon show here. I've had him on a few times. He's fucking really good. Good on you, mate. How old are you, Ben? 22. Yeah, Twenty-two, yeah. Stuck in. yeah. Absolute yeah. shagger as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's on the pussy, mate. Right. Yeah. 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 Hoover in the I'll be, sh- I'll be sure he come off and went. Ripped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I went to like Ben. Yeah. Fucking hell, like, you done well. All the girl, all the girls. Who went to me, man? Only doing it for the pussy, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And then all the girls out. <laughs> <laughs> all, the gir- all the girls outside. Hey, there's that lot of Nickelodeon. That's it. That's now it. I'm just now I'm thinking that cartoon character's catchphrase yeah, yeah. is I'm only doing it for the yeah, pussy. Yeah. I'm getting that Nickelodeon pussy. That's all I'm getting. The Robbie James seven. All right, fucking hell, Michael Jackson there, mate. Nickelodeon pussy. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, your, no, he, bet, he bends you fucking when you, spot up If then. you ever do Edinburgh Fringe, that's do your first, your debut hour, Nickelodeon Pussy. <laughs> that's <laughs> all. Nickelodeon Pussy. I'll write it down. I'll write it down. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah. Good luck to Ben, you can hear Ben. That's all right. Hey, I, might, I might be taking your podcast one day, Ben. Maybe. Hey. No, I won't. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not twisted <laughs> near buttons. Yeah, so uh, are, you, are, you active on, are you active online or on the podcast now? Because obviously it's changed, yeah? Yeah, so I stuff I've been said, meaning. Hey, but do you know what's doing me there now? Comedy clubs, these fucking clip comedians, man, uh, with a run over and just yeah, they're just yeah. fucking doing shit, just trying chasing clips. Well, so minutes. do you know the, it comes, it the comes. problem is, is they don't respect that audience or that art form. No, they just ask them the line. So, so yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. Like I am trying to do stuff online. I yeah, bought one yeah. of these handle things, one of them things. I've got yeah. a mic. I'm going to, you know, do stuff. Yeah, yeah. And um, but for me, if it didn't change, if it hadn't changed, I'd be more than happy just doing clubs forever. I'd yeah, be more yeah. than happy just doing the club circuit forever because that's the best crack, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. absolute best crack. But now you see these and they come on. I've seen people on a Saturday night and they've got a piece of paper with questions that they want the audience to ask them, oh my so God. they can get a so clip. It's like set up. Well, there and then you look at the audience, and people are in their nice clothes, and they've booked a taxi, and some fuckers using them yeah, to get crazy. clicks. It's yeah, yeah it's a wrong clout online to get some online pussy. Yeah. I've seen mm-hmm. some seen some open spot comics that two cameras up, one on them, one face in the audience. Did overran at a ten minute spot. Did about sixteen and absolutely died. I died. Would, I would pay good mm. money to see that footage. I know that's what I mean, but like they don't even just get good at the stand up and the, it will come. Do you know what I'm going to start mm. doing? I'm going to go around to open spots who are doing Fi- that and say, I, I'll do this for you for free. Yeah. <laughs> that mean you can just watch your pistol and Fil- Film your set, fine. Film your set because something yeah. might happen. But film 10 gigs and get that one moment. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, mm. yeah. I just think, stop changing. Your work on Especially it. as you say, people are doing pre planned questions and that, yeah. and obviously writing responses. It's fun. Oh, and mad. so some people are even doing a thing. This just seems like a new. This seems like a new level of it now where people are going to the audience. I'm going to put this on my TikTok. Whoever can shout out the maddest thing, you'll get on my TikTok. No. And they're making oh that God. happen like it Which was. Which a big gong. You just go gong. Yes. Fuck That's off. Shut your mouth You know off. the thing, but I've, so I, I, I've recorded some clips of my. I, I hear Hot Water yeah. put the clips of me up yeah, when yeah, I've done yeah. the club. Yeah. And it's done that. It's been good for me. Yeah, they're, it's good. They're, good, they're yeah, good yeah. what they do. Yeah, but you're, you're playing the gig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're the game. And they're saying, yeah. "Oh, that was good." Do you want to put that and out? You don't even you know have to mean? think yeah, about yeah, it because yeah, it's yeah. all been filmed. But when I set up my camera thing, I've been calling it my anti-improvisational device because if I set that up, fuck all happens. Yeah. If I don't set it up, something brilliant happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. but just play the gig. Just play the gig. Yeah. Yeah. Play the gig, baby. Clips will come. Mm. Pussy will come. <laughs> 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 Not for me. I like going on the blank canvas now. It's fucking its boss because it gives you that like. Any can happen, you know what I mean? It's the blank canvas I've seen, I just love it. It's just like, yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I, when you get a front, bad front row, though, and you're like, what are you doing? They're just like, just shit, shit jobs, and you're just like, oh. Yeah, I don't, one, yeah one, so you can go around that, but can't you? So if you know what question you're asking, you can have back up to it, can't you? Yeah. I, well, I'm just too lazy, so I just, just, just go, do I don't care, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you do, accountant? Shut up, man. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> That's the next one. <laughs> I see someone do that. They asked them, they went, that's a fucking shit job, isn't it? And we went, mate, you asked me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You yeah, asked yeah. me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did a gig with a, with a compare. I'm not going to, I'm not name the person. No. Yeah. Because I like them. But I did a gig with a compare who um, 
before me, I was last one on, and before me, he spoke to six people. What do you do, mate? Oh, right. Oh, nice one. What do you do? And he couldn't get any. He kept fishing oh and fishing gosh. and fishing. And the last person was a woman, and she. I went, well, what do you do, love? And she went, I work for in a woman's refuge. And he went, I bet you Martin's got some jokes about those and brought me on. Fred, oh. listen, Freddie Quinn's a friend of ours, so that's bang out of order. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Freddie, because if it was, I wouldn't even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that. <laughs> that's funny one. So what, have you, have you got any plans for the year, for, for, for any tour shows coming up or anything? So I've got Edinburgh coming. Yeah, hold on. So I've never done it, and I'm, I'm not going to. It's not really my cup of tea, but... Yeah, do you know, I yeah. in the past, a lot of I used to always what? say to folks... Yeah, a, a lot of walking. I used to say to people, go... Uh, and like 10 years ago, I said to everybody, go and do it once, see if you like it. The yeah, biggest yeah. arts festival in the world, you might love it, you might hate it. I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Always do okay, yeah. touch wood. It's always worthwhile going up. Always and for makes, me, always so it doesn't cost as well. Like, you you do know, the free yeah. fringe, in it? Uh, yeah, so I did time. the paid fringe for years. Then yeah. I moved to the free fringe. And then now this one, I've got two circus shows on the free. Yeah. But you buy tickets, it's yeah, called yeah. the free. I think people misunderstand when it says free because it means it's free for us. Free, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's but, not free. But yeah, <laughs> but we've got tickets for that. And then I'm doing the stand again. I haven't been at the stand right. since 2015. Yeah, so I'm yeah. back at the stand with a sh- with stand up show. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's not what it was. It, yeah. I don't think I never played it as an industry thing. I never did it. You like you like to feel like the, the piss up all thing. I do, I, I went for the piss. I've, I've yeah. done like compilation shows, big yeah. value in that. Um, never took a solo show up there. Yeah. Got asked to take what side up for. This fringe, yeah, I know, 2024. I've made well, a f- well, like, you know. lad. I've made a fucking fortune, yeah. but it's just like, nah. I'm just. Uh, got it this depends what you what you want. Yeah. In, in the nineties, me People and my mates got, when we won, we just I just went and did good shows and just partied. Yeah, yeah. And it was yeah, just yeah, yeah. a I've, month long. I party. think I think back then. I think I think if it was obviously if it was active back then, I think it would have been more suitable. But I just think now with the whole like the, just the, so the, many different. Varying like various of comedy is there. I just think it's just not really. And you get some see. fucking nerd who's that's, fucking. That's not, I'm trying to say this in a nice way. You, you have a fucking nerd, second year media student, review on, with a blog, giving you fucking two stars. I'll go, listen, lad, I'll fucking slap you, mate. You don't know what you're talking about. Do you know what I mean? You ever had two I, stars? I want. I once made a reviewer go home. <laughs> Did you? Honest to God. So I was at, I was at the stand. You give me two I was stars. Doing a, I was doing a <laughs> show called... <laughs> I was doing a, I was doing a show called the kids... Sh- the daytime show, which the kids' family show, was called Funny Ha Ha. And the nighttime stand-up show was called Funny Peculiar. You know that expression? Is he always funny? Is he oh, funny ha ha yeah, or yeah, funny yeah. peculiar? Yeah, yeah. It's always quite a clever yeah, yeah, yeah. idea. Went well, okay. And somebody reviewed me doing a technical run through in a room with so there's an act called Michael Smiley and him and his kids his wife and kids were in the audience so because we were doing the tech run through putting the lights up all that I did the show to the the family the, the comedian and his kids yeah. And in the back of the room was a reviewer, and he reviewed it and gave it a bad review, <laughs> and reviewed it like it was the show. And then I um, complained to the publication about yeah. that, and they apologized, and they reviewed it a second time and gave it a five star review, yeah, a good yeah, review. And I five. said yeah, to yeah, that yeah. reviewer who came up and apologized, this, a different reviewer, and she came up, she apologized, she said that other guy is a dick, and I said, is he still here? I said, Tell him I'm going to break his legs. <laughs> and the next time I seen her. <laughs> Late night bar, she said she did tell him and he resigned the next day. Fucking justice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, justice. <little> weasel. <laughs> and now he runs a website called Chortle. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this spot when people do? I, like, it is legitimate, but it's quite funny when, when people put up rev- quotes. So I don't read reviews at all now. Yeah. I, I don't review. I, sa- I, they're only sadness. Yeah, them. I, only, I only read one star or five star. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I get my, well, they're the right ones, but yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. like to be serious, they are yeah, the right yeah, ones yeah, to yeah, read. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I get my mate who's, who works in comedy to read the reviews and pick out the quotes yeah. if you need a quote for on yeah. your poster and stuff. But um, you know when you see that thing when people are putting up reviews and it, it's just from like Twitter or and you go, that's your mum said that. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, your yeah, fucking yeah. mum wrote that. that. Yeah, yeah. No, it just goes fringe feed. All the comedian could... friends. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> I, um, <laughs> Phil Chapman, fucking mint comic, he does a, 
He has it when people call him shit as his talk ones. <laughs> That's like, quite funny. That's absolute funny. dickhead. Yeah. Stephen Francis 44. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he, he does that, don't he? He names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's That's funny. Stuff, yeah. Well, it's in the public domain, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah, said yeah. it. Have you seen that when Do you know Ginny Godley? Glasgow oh, comedian. I know, I know I've heard it's of brutal. It's brutal. Fantastically brutal. So people that hate him, blokes, like kind of football lads usually yeah. hate her. Yeah. And I think she's Scottish independent and all that. Yeah, There's yeah. loads of pol politics going on. She is political. Yeah. But when people send her abuse, she like does things like she'll put their picture up and their copy their thing and go, I notice you've got two daughters. Would you like somebody to speak to your daughters? Like, she fucking outs oh, them. Oh, yeah, fucking hell. Because if you're going to say it in public, yeah, fucking yeah, can, stand yeah, by it or get just, outed. Yeah. I just ignore them. And then it's usually when you go back at them people, they cry. And they're the ones who say, oh, you can't even handle anything the yourself. Best, the best one I thought was when that singer called me Shit Paul Smith and it, on, on, on one of the oh, videos. And I clicked on his profile and it said, like, he was a singer. It was a, no, it's a Michael Bublé interpreter. No, but he just said, that, he just said sing in his bio. And then I seen him, and he had like on his on his, on his picture he had, like a, a suit on, but like what Michael Bublé <laughs> like, had, like that. And in my head, I thought, it's death old Michael Bublé him. Like, so I just type his name in, I just put music on YouTube. So I type his name like Johnny Evans or something, put Johnny Evans music on YouTube. I swear down the first video was him singing at home by Michael Bublé. No so way. So I just screen recorded it of, of him singing. Put up my story, tagged him, put shit Michael Bublé. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I got, apology best for yeah, saying sorry yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah, you know, in a bit, lad. Yeah. I got <laughs> sent a bullet after, so I did. <laughs> I did a um, I did a show about Donald Trump. It's a bullet. I, I I did a show about Donald Trump. So yeah. true true story yeah. is, before he was the president, I got blocked by Donald Trump on Twitter. Yeah. And um, because you know he's got that golf course in America. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was slagging him off about that, and I didn't think it was actually him. I didn't think it was actually the guy off The Apprentice. Yeah. And, uh, anyway, and he blocked me, as he's done with loads of people. So I wrote a show about being blocked by Donald Trump. <laughs> and uh, at Edinburgh, there was an envelope waiting for me, like an old-fashioned pay packet. And they went, oh, somebody's dropped something off for you. And it was a fucking bullet. And when I did that show in Australia, the police uh, came to me and said, we've had what we think are legitimate threats. You go, about me doing knob jokes about fucking Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimate threat. His fans have fucked me to yeah, the That's like that and K-pop, innit? <laughs> K-pop? <laughs> lad, go after K-pop, mate. You finish, lad. The K-pop would be worse, wouldn't yeah. We've got a Patreon yeah. after this. We're going after K-pop. So we're going to do K-pop, lad? Yeah. No. We've got to do something to get us cancelled, lad. Yeah, we just get out of it. Well, just they did that, K didn't they? The K-pop ones did something, didn't they? That they... Was it Trump or something? And they used the hashtag and deliberately just flooded Twitter... With K-pop videos. <laughs> oh, Proud Boys. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Remember them Egypt's the Proud Boys? They're like Nazis, aren't they? American Nazis. Mm -hmm. And they had a thing up. And the K-pop fans are like little girls, aren't they? Usually. Yeah, yeah. They flooded the timeline and disappeared. Just fucking disappeared. Don't them. say that. Bellows, stop doing stand-up. You start doing K-pop. <laughs> yeah. K-pop <K> pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I, had a, I had a James Arthur fan, didn't I? Oh, James Arthur won yeah, X Factor. Yeah, he won X Factor in like 2010 or something. Right. called Ugly and all that was in the I papers. Yeah, funny. I think, yeah, Shag Rita over the lot. Did he? Yeah, I mean, he Based fucking down. slapped that batter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he, uh, yeah, he followed me on Twitter randomly. Like, yeah. Before, you know, like, just before I'd even do stand up, I think. Yeah. I was just starting out. And um, this fucking Indonesian super fan went, oh, hi, you know James Arthur? And I went, yeah, yeah, good mate of mine. <laughs> and she was like, she was like, oh, get me James Arthur number and all this. And I went, no, I don't really know him, sorry. And she went fucking mental at me. Did she? She went, you don't like Bob James Arthur? I'm fucking yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Fucking James Arthur super fans in Indonesia, mate. You <laughs> <laughs> oh. ever had any frets or not? Frets? I've been squared up to. Ah, uh, James Corden's in the game. Following, yeah, squared up to. Did that's funny, but when you yeah. see that, you know when the the audience want to fight the act, I that's mad, isn't that? For a start, yeah, that's I'd mad. I'd love it, me. But when, I would, love, but, I would glass someone in the face. But you know when the act, you know when the act wants to. But see that thing, the act. So I've got a couple of mates that get genuinely angry and yeah. will want to fight the audience. Yo, you're not paying. How much do you have to pay me to fight somebody? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah, going to yeah. fight somebody for 150 pound. It's like. 
Yeah, I think it's a free pass, mate. If an audience, audience, ah, to be oh. fair, my 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 accent. Yeah, come on, mate. My my accent. Sorry, everyone. My 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 accent's quite uh, quite bu- quite bubbly on stage, so I don't really get them them kinds of. Yeah. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't I don't really do dark comedy, so. You know when you're the you know when you're the compare. Yeah, that's what I. And you're I'm almost much. like the bouncer. Yeah, yeah. So some of them big gigs. Mind we were talking before about yeah. junglers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I used to always compare junglers. <laughs> And often you were like, so at the time I was a, 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 a fair bit bigger as well. Yeah, I was probably yeah. like 18 stone. Yeah. And I realized that the compare, my compare was almost like being a bouncer. Yeah. You're being like a friendly bouncer. And then that means those kind of lads that would square up the bouncers did want to come and square up to you. Yeah, yeah. And you just go, they're not getting paid enough yeah, for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. No, it's, yeah. As I say, as I say, it's not, it, I don't know why we had a big group of lads here on a, on a Saturday here and uh, and they just, they, just, they just enjoyed it, you know what I mean? You've just got to play up, play on it. But I think if you're being rude or you're being things to these audience, especially Saturday nights, when just, you know, these people come from yeah. wherever to start an IT and stuff, and you don't really want to be fucking too harsh on them. Yeah. So I just, uh, I just but also play. here, and the good, so the good, all the good clubs, the people have made an effort to come because they know it's a comedy Com- club. Yeah, and yeah. It, but like I did a gig the other night in a pub, yeah. and back of a pub, and it's funny, isn't it, with comedy that you could be. Like you're in the back of a pub, you're in not, a great comedy yeah. club. I'm one just night, not suited to them gigs, next you know? night you're in a pub. Do you, know and you might be with in a in a pub with somebody that's just been on the Royal Variety performance, and yeah. they're doing a gig in yeah, a pub. Yeah, yeah, but they're, they're kind of pub style gigs, other 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 like live music, like uh, mm. like venues. I just don't know what it is. It just I yeah. do always do all right, but yeah. I mean, it's, I just think I'm just. Well, when to, they don't even know, I'm just used to comedy clubs. I think yeah. I just think that's the that's this gig the other night. They were absolutely lovely. But they were in the back of a pub, and they didn't know that the comedy yeah, was yeah, like a that's, surprise. That's what I hate. Yeah. And they were lovely, but everybody was. I th- it was a Saturday night. It was yeah. last Saturday night, yeah. and I ever, it was mostly young women. And after when I was standing outside talking to the other acts, just as we were leaving, the girls came out. About twenty of them came out, and they were going, "Oh, nice one. See you later." Yeah. And they all got in taxis, and you go, "They're on their way for a night out. They're no, probably on an eight or something." Yeah, and I'll and probably figure like, yeah, comedy's exactly the wrong, <laughs> the wrong carry on be for great, them. Be great to have an e watch. You're not like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember when it when they fir- when ease first started happening in Manchester. Yeah, there were it was really there weren't very many gigs around in Manchester, yeah. and it was really popular that the gigs would then be a disco. Yeah, so yeah. people did used to have their eight. And oh, you'd, so you'd, 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 you'd be stand up and then it turn into a disco. Turn into disco yeah, after, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you'd yeah. be doing your gig, and you'd see somebody that took their pill too early, oh, and you, they'd be laughing. But <laughs> yeah, they'd, be, <laughs> they'd be starting to go like this here, and if you talk too the, rhythmically, that, that's yeah. The yeah. Voice. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, you used you know to shame, know. Do you know with the, with the pub? I say with the pub gigs that you say on a Saturday night. You, you were there. They pay fucking well better as well, don't they? Uh, and Always. Also, I I love all of the gigs. Yeah, yeah. When they're good, they've all. So I've done like I know the Hammersmith Apollo. Yeah, yeah. And then this this gig in Barnsley yeah, on Saturday yeah, yeah. in the back of a pub, and they've all got their own charm. And if you're lucky enough to be there when it happens, the charm things. Brilliant, yeah, it's yeah. better than anything. Better than I anything. Think you, I think you, you oh. sharpen your tools when you're doing it all different kinds of things. Yeah, then you can change your your kind of style and your material to suit yeah. that to suit that, which is I think because cool we're happen. probably quite similar. I yeah. think in style, in yeah. that you want to create something, don't you? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to just do your job. Yeah, what a crease. Yeah, 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 yeah same, yeah, exact yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. And there needs to be for me anyway. If it's just nice people in a theatre, like say you go and do an art centre, yeah. and they're all nice, and they're sitting there all nice, like they're watching a play, yeah. there's nothing in it. There's not. No, you can't no, get no. it. Yeah. When there's a wee bit of friction in it, I just love. It, I just. I just love, especially with the MC, and now especially in this club as well. I just love having that that touch to everyone's night to start it off. So yeah, like on Saturday's gone, it was obviously Ben was Ben was second the show, and uh, the first section I done, I was quite a slow starter to be honest, like but. And then uh, at the end, mate, I just have them in the palm of your hands. And there's not a better than that, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, brilliant. Class and brilliant. Also, I, I always look, when I'm hosting that, I always in my head think it's like my party. I brought you all to my party. Yeah, that's, Let's that's everyone the, have that's, a good yeah, laugh. I think that's why I was similar, yeah, because that's why I love that. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love, go? like, this is a fucking, this is a nice out, this. How was the toilet? Fucking <sighs> sting me, lad. Yeah? I'm not well. Can you pass another beer? Right. <laughs> wonder why. <laughs> Do you want another beer? Yeah, go on, I'll have one. Yeah, thanks, mate. Right now. We'll drink your quota as well. Yeah, yeah, you can <laughs> drink my quota for me. Oh yeah, did you tell you didn't tell us what happened with the dad, did you? Oh, so yeah, no, we didn't. So oh. um, 
Was I have, you, was I have you, a theory. Was you, was you a party like before that? Yes, yeah. Have you, yeah. Have you dabbled in all this yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have a theory <laughs> Imagine that you... Imagine you went been clean cut for life. I think you're allocated a certain amount of alcohol in your life. And at that point, I drank all of mine. But, oh, so you're big, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always like, I always think that was Sam Island. Sam Island's a comic, yeah. He's been teetotal. Like so. Oh, lad, been teetotal for 20 years. Yeah. Every time I see him, he looks ungoal as a fuck. Yeah, well, so that must have been <laughs> Do you know what? Last night. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, Do you know what? Yeah. Sam's, Sam was a proper party boy. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. so this is the thing. So I'm 60 now, right? Yeah, yeah. And all of us that were the full on party boys and were having, and in comedy it was a real big party scene in the 90s. Every dressing yeah. room and had it's, cocaine. It's class every as well, we say that yeah. with Jamie, it's Everyone. a fucking boss, when you're, you're yeah. a boss green room with people and that. Yeah, yeah and you're having a so great, the green, that green room crack, yeah, it's it was, unbelievable. Yeah, 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 I'm in the wrong game, I mean. But yeah, all I am, the, I on the honest scene, mate. Everyone that was full on, like I, I could list them now for you, they're yeah. either dead or <laughs> they've stopped. Yeah, because you just can't, you can't did they come come back. How, how old are you now? We're thirty-two. Yeah, we're thirty-three. Yeah, oh, no, 33, yeah. You, thirty-two. Yeah. By the time he, he's not going to make sixty, is he? No, he wants no. to. Like I'm that. not even like. What do we say now? <laughs> <laughs> he wants. To. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Mark. I know I'd be sixty. He's having two fat cunts. So I'm about Princess Diana. Lad. You know, <laughs> it, it's so funny, Bob, because we um, there's so many acts now my age. Yeah, and we're all going. How do? We never thought we were going to live to this point. You never thought that you... Right. You don't, do you? You well, never you, think... If you're well, 60 then, Martin, you must have quit around that age, wasn't you? Yeah. About your, around yeah, about yeah, your yeah, age, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. yeah. Wow, nah, no chance, mate. You tapping out or what? Nah, lads. Well, uh, looks great for 60, though. Hold, still got a we'll chance. hold you to that. Let's see You've still you got go. a chance. Look at Martin, he's 60, you he go. looks great. You obviously Not say himself, well, don't you? Oh, I've, Not seen pictures, I've seen pictures when he used to be fat. Yeah, yeah. That's mad. Then so I, was power left, I used to power left, and I was on... 4,000 calories a day and then I got offered a part in a TV program I, not a part a casting for a TV program yeah. and I was probably about 16 stone and they said can you be a bit bigger and I went yeah I'm pretty sure I can and then I um, boosted up a little bit and I was 18 and a half stone and now then when I stopped I went I lost 6 stone did you? just by fucking stop boozing no, no, when I was boozing, oh, I just yeah. had belly on me. I was probably yeah, yeah. about 15 stone. Yeah. I'm 12 stone now. 12. Do you vegan and all that? Yeah, all that there. Oh, it's fucking sad, isn't it, man? It's always the good ones, isn't it? <laughs> they always get <laughs> the good ones. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be you. you have, I, 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 uh, I hope I live. Sweet. What age are you now? 33. If I can get another... How many years before you're 60? I'm going to come back on this podcast when you two are 60. <laughs> I hope I now, now I hope I live a long, long yeah. life yeah. just yeah. to like and see him. Um, that, isn't it? Scary, isn't it? Like we'll have the crazed kids looking after us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 18 fucking ripping Give me one day off, please. <laughs> no, I'll tell that. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy retired. Better, better be retired all fucking pussy everywhere. <laughs> fucking get yeah, fat because yeah, yeah. he smashed it. Hundred oh, yeah. percent. So yeah. So as I say, uh, so did you? Do you know with the, with the old with the drinking party? Then did you, when you stopped, did you have any re, like relapse? Kind of, no, no. Was it that bad or was it just no? Like, so just what? Like your I had a weird one. Mine's yeah. a bit of a weird one. So I gave up for Lent. Yeah. And Lent? just yeah, gave up for Lent. I'm not even Fourth religious. Days, isn't it? Like not that, not like, even well, religures. Like yeah. like yeah. I gave up for Ramadan. No, I gave up for Lent, <laughs> right? And I um and then I just stayed stopped. I just it yeah, just yeah. seemed like I just stayed stopped. I, I was doing I was I was doing loads of gigs and I was around drinking every night and you used to have to just drive everywhere in them yeah, days. Yeah, All yeah, I lived in Manchester, you couldn't make a living yeah. just being in Manchester. So I was driving exactly, every yeah. night and dying to get in the you know no, what it's like when people, you're trying to get home. So you're yeah, not drinking because you're trying to get home. Loads of people say as well, because the lens like forty days from there is yeah. like that. Loads of people say though that like if you get off it, yeah, for that long, like you just start thinking, Wow, what the f like sick this. You start like sleeping better, thinking better. Yeah, it's only so I stayed off for two years. Do you know what? I've never lasted more. Well, we both haven't since we did it was two years, week. and that was probably. And I, probably, I don't know that was before, so just after lockdown, wasn't it? So I don't know lockdown, but probably around two and a half years, two years. I haven't lasted a week without having a drink. Mm. No, so if you want to give up drinking, so all you need years, to be man, two years, is man, be right. a professional road comedian in the 1990s. That's all you need to do. Oh, where's, yeah. Ma where's Martin McFly? Easy Maybe that time machine, baby. Oh, but I'd, I'd be like, it was beacon on the table in the green room and that, I'd be fucking, nah, fuck it. Was that, what was that like, yeah, back then? Oh, there was so... Uh, 
Yeah, it was so, that, that was a you. big part of the a big part of the scene. Like every dressing room, it was a big part yeah, of the scene. Long year, mate. Some there was a there was a particular the club, and um, sometimes the, I, I'm not going to name the club. There's a particular yeah. club, and sometimes the promoter you would you would do Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sometimes you would do a Sunday as well, and sometimes he would give you half your money in money and half your money in drugs. Oh! <laughs> I did Marcy it. McFly gave me that time machine, <laughs> baby. I did a I did a house party for two bags, two grams of coke once. Uh, yeah, remember they said that. Yeah, that's plaster. <laughs> I wish, for, yeah, I wish fucking like currency was just coke. Well, it is if you're in the yeah, right place. Yeah, it is. But no, it's, it's cut out the middle, man. And it can't be asked ringing so waiting for twenty minutes. Just give me it now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, <that was laughs> sad. Yeah, we should, yeah. Oh, we should open a comedy club, lads. To do just get paid in beat. Lads, you know, hey, but imagine, I thought you like on your rider, you know, like you get riders sometimes. Remember the time you don't get your run corner and you got a fucking cheese cracker rider? Oh, that was mad. And grapes, I was like, the fuck you this? Done, you've That's done mad. them biker gigs, haven't you? No, no, no. So but there's biker gigs, yeah. Yeah. and the biker gigs, they're wild. They're the best audience, absolutely yeah. wild. The farmyard, which is North Yorkshire, there's like 5,000 Full on bikers, Sick, fucking brilliant. I did my oh. first ever comedy special filmed it there, yeah, and it just so well, just sold to all of them. It was yeah, so yeah, easy. Yeah. To, but so when I used to sell back in the days when I used to sell uh, DVDs after the gigs, so you come and get the comedy special on a DVD. It sounds really old fashioned, yeah, don't yeah. it? You get a comedy special on a DVD, and I had it in a little case, and to try and make it less cunty, you know, when you go buy that, so you feel a cunt. So I would go, oh. They're, you know, 15 quid each, or uh, I'll accept drugs or blowjobs. And so, one of them biker gigs, they're all coming. People are looking at stuff. Some people are buying it. Got a t shirt, got their mugs. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, got yeah, stuff yeah, I'm yeah. selling, merch. Oh, and people are buy buying stuff. Some people are looking, putting it back. It's not for them. And then, yeah. and then, anyway, about a week later, I got, I'm going to do gigs in Dubai. So, I get my wee bag of stuff. I'm going to take my wee bag. Stuff. And I looked at it, and it was full of pills. And I think it was Spit, it was Trucker Speed. The people had just dropped, had took me on my word and just give me the wee bag of weed and stuff. And I think if I had took that to Dubai, yeah, you'd I'd mean, be dead. Yeah. They would have fucking cut my head off, yeah, wouldn't they? Do you know about the DVD? It's one of the joke about it's one of the joke, you know, like the DVDs, about Chinese DVDs. <laughs> they said go around and sell Chinese DVD players. <laughs> do you know when you, like people go around like in the pubs, remember? Oh, That's yeah, what called, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh snide like, ones. Snide ones, yeah. And I can't remember yeah. what comedian it was. I think it was Andrew Kearney because he used to do silly stuff like that. But it was a shit joke, but mm. it was funny, lads. He used to, go, like, he used to come around you know, in pubs and he'd sell you Chinese DVDs. He said, oh yeah, I, I thought of a business idea go around and sell Chinese DVD players. Right. But it's just so <laughs> stupid but funny. Oh, man. <laughs> You know this. You know that the, you, the way we were talking. Far, you forget how long DVDs and that was ago. Yeah, no, wasn't it? You know, you know we were, we were saying about this being about like punk rock now. Doing yeah, yeah. people can do podcasts. I fucking love this. I love the idea of this. So Chinese DVDs. Yeah. There was a a guy who was filming them on a camera. So he would go to the cinema. Yeah. yeah. And he would Sit film, there for two hours film like the thing on his camera. And then he'd sell the Snide DVDs yeah, yeah, around yeah. the place, like in China or Thailand yeah, yeah, or wherever. Yeah. But the thing was, he had a bit of a, bit, a good eye for it, and his versions were being more popular than the official versions because he would like zoom in on you know Julia Roberts, and then he'd go over that. And so his was like a director's so cut director's of the thing. Him, just I like fucking that. love it. I love it that the, the pirate games. guy. I always thought these pirate guys didn't ever go for the piss. You know what I mean? Yeah, just sit there like that. No popcorn, no but drink. But here, did you just to have a thing that where somebody would come round with a black Ben bag and go, do you need socks? Somebody come in the pub and go, yeah, yeah. he's all right for socks. You get, oh, you, you you get fucking ham, you get ham and turkey and that. Yeah, you get people drink, come yeah. round like, do you want batteries, some chops or batteries, something? Oh, batteries, batteries, yeah. batteries, Do smackheads. Dodgy Elaine in Gorton, mate. I thought she died when she knocked, knocked on my house. I was like that Ian Wright, me. Oh, I was like, Elaine, I, I thought you were dead. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got two jars of coffee for fucking five. Like, yeah. Do you know yeah. what? Do you know what? We had, a, we, we had a month's supply of Burger King burgers. Oh, maybe you told me that. Yeah, you told me that. She was like, I've got burgers and trackies. Get us a little custom fucking 14 whoppers. Yeah, it used to be like, used to be like, obviously, like smackheads and that. Did you ever do Viagra? Yeah, I've been on Viagra. So when Viagra. First came, and uh, it was super, ones, it was it was super strong that you would like if you didn't have erectile dysfunction, you would have had half. Yeah. People had it to top it up a wee bit rather than thing. Yeah. So I was doing some gigs in Holland, 
And <coughs> the guy, one of the other comedians goes to me, like, literally, are you all right for Viagra? And it was brand new. Like, nobody really heard about it before. And the story was... They'd seen that somebody in northern Holland, they'd seen a lorry coming down and it parked near somebody's house. And somebody would come up from the south, like Belgium or somewhere, and they would swap over their trailers rather than going all the way there yeah. and him going all the way there. They just made this liaison that they would just come and swap their trailers so they could go home again. And so the comedians, that the circuit comedians in Holland robbed the trailer. So it got stopped. The other guy hadn't arrived yet. He was he turned around and fucked off, and they robbed the trailer. And they, what all was in it was a million Viagra. So I went to Holland, and the guy went, "You're right for Viagra." And I went, "I've never had it." And he, and he gave me like a jar of Viagra, <laughs> but and I came back. I brought it back from Holland and yeah, was just going yeah. to my mates. Do you want to go on that? <laughs> <laughs> Class. I sp- we sp- well, 2010. We spiked Paul Smith with Viagra. Right. And while he's on stage in Envy. Right. So Sunday nights. Went with hot water first half of Sunday nights over mic nights. This nightclub in Liverpool, um, Paul was the MC, and we uh, we put Viagra jelly in his pint. It was all like I remember all being blue, the f- stuff in the and it was dark nightclub, so you couldn't really see zinc, and he had a swing of his pint, drank it, and the second section you could just see him like on stage with cameras and cock. No. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and we were all just fucking buzzed off and funny. Oh fuck's sake, Ben's gonna do that as well. Isn't he? So when I stopped when I stopped taking trip. drugs, yeah. So I was in Manchester in the Hacienda days yeah, and all yeah. Witties and all that and all that stuff. <laughs> and I realised I was doing too much when on a Sunday my mate confessed that he'd put uh, acid in my drink and I hadn't noticed. And you think that's too and you much built up now. a tolerance Regu- where you didn't even know. That's fucked up. I wrote, I went toilet once, yeah, and I used to always get practical jokes on me. So when I was like 18, 19, I used to neck dirty pints on me. Yeah, like, yeah. Fag I went, I don't care. Like. Did you want to ever drink bin juice enough yeah. for five? Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, I was like, like ass, yeah. for a <laughs> joke or just no, just like you can't get me sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I, I went toilet and went, oh, um, fingers. By the way, fingers just. And I seen him like zip up. He went. He just put his cock in your drink and stirred his cock round your pint. And I did it, yeah. And I got it and went, do not blink like you. <laughs> and just, ne- just yeah. necked it in front of him, mate. I went, do you think I'm arse, lad? Think I, I'm don't, arse? I don't care, mate. Do you know what I mean? I just won't yeah, be gone. You yeah. should join the military. In, um, <laughs> do you I did some, some of these, um, I did some of the, I did some of these military gigs. I did loads of these military gigs and they can be quite rough. And they, after one, I can't remember who it was. I don't think it was the Marines. But it was a, whoever it was, British military, yeah. and they had a tradition when the new guys came, and they call it the mess, is like the bar, is like the sergeant's mess. Yeah, yeah. And it was the one for just the squaddies. And what they would do when the new guys came, they would go on Saturday week, where you do your, you do your uh, ceremony to welcome you to the regiment, and they put a bin out, and people would throw the dregs in, and spit in it, and shit in it, and put fags in it. And their thing that they had to do was they had to scoop a pint and neck a pint of this fucking Ben. Oh. You'd be perfect for it. Yeah, but be ask me. Like, oh, I'd just be like, it's more. It's not the. T- it's it's more of like you can't say you've got me sort of thing. Do yeah, you yeah. Mean? That was my mentality. Yeah, Did you yeah. ever see the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow? No, oh, so not that day. So they were a, they were like jackass. It was like before Jack. It was doing that niche thing like Jackass had. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like that, and. I saw them in my. I saw him live in Manchester, and one of the things the guy does, so he puts a tube down into his stomach, and it, everyone gives him shit and like the Pasco. The audience have brought stuff. He pour a pint in, and it goes down the tube into his stomach. Pours everything, chocolate sauce, everything. Pour it down, and then he stomach pumps it out, puts it into shot glasses, and people literally ran up on stage to get. And he called it bile beer, and they literally. Oh my God. Necked, shot, but they they ran. When they said what they were going to do, yeah. I thought, how are they going to get people out to do this? Yeah. They could have done. I mean, people. it sounds lovely, but I'd prefer a lovely drop of our sponsors, <laughs> ABK. We should stomach pump you, <laughs> and then, <laughs> lad, our listeners would do that. They're fucking weird. <laughs> Next time, I imagine doing man, it should be all fucking nabsies. <laughs> <laughs> be fucking full cheese bakers come out. <laughs> ABK you got cheese in. <laughs> Right, let's call that a podcast yeah. on that That's song. That's man, it's been absolutely pleasure. Oh, that's nice. Nice yeah. chat, yeah. yeah. absolutely yeah. Absolutely uh, legends guys. of the game, mate. Thank you. Um, tickets still available for my run at Hot Water, 18th, 20th, uh, 18th, 20th, 20th, 
eight, lo, lo, five shows in the end of March. Um, go on the hotwatercom.co.uk. Loads of tickets still available for Birmingham, Cardiff. Um, Birmingham, Cardiff, South Shields. Southampton? Uh, no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Southampton. Uh, um, Can I plug my stuff? Yeah, yeah lo- loads of cities. JamieHcom.com is fine. Tony Carlo Friends is here the 27th of March. Uh, make sure you get your tickets. It's been uh, full every single one the past 12 months. So, as you know, it's a great night. Fantastic up and coming comedians on. And yes, I've gone full time now as well. So, who knows? You might see me open up for Jamie on his, on his tour shows in Liverpool. So, get some tickets. Martin, would you like, would you like to? Uh... The thing I'm plugging now is Dirty Tattooed Circus Bastards, my adult <laughs> circus show, Brighton Fringe. And then uh, the next big thing is Edinburgh. So yeah. I've got my own new stand-up show, which I haven't written yet, but I will write. Yeah, Probably a, maybe have this in it, some yes, of this in it. Yeah. But yeah, that's going to be August. So that's what I'm trying to sell. So oh, yeah, thank you come and see that. Well, cheers. And, uh, ben, what about yourself? Is anything to plug? He's on Nickelodeon at 5 o'clock every <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> Nickelodeon <laughs> pussy. Use, 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 the, uh, use the audience, Ben. You're only, you're only here once. Um... Send him nudes. Yeah, Send I've got nothing. I've got nothing. I've got ben Robinson on. comedy. Is ben it? Robinson comedy on Instagram. Send yeah. him nudes. Keep Send me nudes. On the young, the young, uh, the young bull. That's what he's called. And I don't mean girls bull. either. Send him dick pics. Yeah. He deserves it. Yeah. But yeah. Keep an eye on Ben's uh, his career. He's fantastic. Up and coming comedian. So yes. Thank you very much for listening. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.